Okay, so the first law of thermodynamics is really a, a restating of the law of conservation of energy. Right? We talked about the law of conservation last lecture. Can't gain or lose energy in a chemical reaction. First law of thermodynamics basically states that as well. First law of thermodynamics states that the energy of the universe is constant. So if it's constant, that means you can't gain any or lose any. It stays the same. No matter what happens, it's going to stay the same. Another way we could um, say that is we say that energy is conserved. Energy is conserved. Okay, but we can transfer energy. All right, we talked about that yesterday. We can transfer energy uh, via heat or work. Okay, so when we're transferring energy, we're often going to talk about where it's coming from and where it's going. All right, and we're going to come up with names for that. We already came up with one name yesterday. We're going to be uh, interested in studying a chemical. Uh, we're going to be interested in studying a chemical or physical reaction. Okay, what are we going to call that? What did we call it yesterday? That's our system, okay? So that's our system. Anytime we're talking about chemical or physical change we're talking about, that's what we're studying, that's our system. And everything else is the surroundings, okay? So if the system's gonna give off energy, where's it going? We just call it the surroundings, okay? It could be an aqueous solution, it could be the air, it could be wherever that reaction or process is going on, okay? Or the system could be absorbing energy from the surroundings, okay? So those are the two things we talk about, the system and the surroundings. All right, so usually how we do that is we'll draw two boxes, like this, and we'll say the system, and then the surroundings. And evidently I didn't draw a big enough box, okay? So, for those of you who haven't drawn the second box, make it a little bit bigger. Alright. Well, I'll just, should I try to erase it? No, no we shouldn't. We'll just extend it, okay? Alright. So, what we say is the uh, system can transfer energy to the surroundings, or the surroundings can transfer energy to the system. Okay. So, energy can go that way or that way. But that energy has to be conserved. The energy has to be constant. We can't lose or gain any energy, okay? So this is an example from your textbook, the energy transfer of these gauges, okay? So here we have the system energy tank and the surroundings energy tank, okay? And before the energy transfer at the start, so about before picture, so my reaction side, the surround, or excuse me, the system has a half a tank, all right, and the surroundings has a quarter tank. A change occurs, could be chemical or physical, who knows, and suddenly what happened to the system? The system has a quarter tank. So the system lost a quarter tank of energy, whatever this is, okay? That energy has to go to the surroundings. Okay? The surroundings has to pick it up for it to be conserved. Right? So the surroundings energy has to go up if the system's energy goes down, and it has to go up by the same amount. Okay? So if we, um, that's, what, that's what we're gonna uh, um, look at and make sure it happens. Or not, make sure it happens, always happens, okay? Whatever the system loses, the surroundings will pick up and vice versa. If the system went up in energy, where'd that energy come from? the surroundings, okay? So if the system went up in energy, that energy had to come from the surroundings, and the amount would be equal, okay? So that's where we say energy is conserved, or the universe, the energy of the universe is constant, okay? <coughs> All right, 
So let's think about that in terms of the relationship between those two. Okay? Well, let's calculate the change in energy of the system and the surroundings. Okay? Uh, to do that, we're going to have to you know, um, put some numbers on this. Okay? So let's say a half a tank is 50 joules. All right, that's crazy enough to work, isn't it? If we make up some numbers. And let's say the quarter tank is 25 joules. Okay, so the system went from 50 to 25. 